There's a beehive in the wall of this house that has swarmed. The other day, they were coming and going pretty steadily where this water line meets the brick exterior. But of course, since they've swarmed, that activity is down quite a bit. I'll be showing you what that hive looks like since I did wind up removing it. But first, let's look at the swarm that's in these people's crepe myrtle tree. The other day when I showed up, it was bright yellow on the day. I'll show you what it looks like today. All right. Here we go. You ready? Look at that, folks. Something's still going on in there. What do you think? All right. Okay. Sometimes when I'm shaking a swarm, I'll just do like a little small shake at first, just to see if we get lucky and she pops out. And I'll deal with the rest of the bees, because the main thing with the swarm is, you know, catching the queen and putting her aside. Then it's all downhill from there. Can I cut the branch? Okay. Make this a lot easier. I'm trying to shake them, film, all that stuff. Okay. All right, folks, so what you're looking at here, see these things that kind of look like peanuts? Those are queen cells, or in this case, swarm cells. The bottom of the queen cells have these little hatches that have been pushed out. This is telling me that this hive did in fact swarm. And because I'm seeing these swarm cells that have hatched out, coupled with the fact that we have a swarm hanging in the tree right on the other side of the wall here, I would say that the swarm came from this hive. Help me out, folks. Y'all see ya? Hmm? Man, what, this frame's got some weight to it with all these bees on it. I'm not gonna lie. Look at that. It's been clustering because the uh, temperatures are dropping a little bit. It was in the 50s this morning. That's what she did, folks. I think she is in the box somewhere. <laughs> okay. I got them crawling up underneath my shirt right now too. <laughs> This is a decent little swamp that they, they cast. 
I see the queen. Let's see if I can't get her. This is right here. Come here, girl. Come here. There you go. Mm -hmm. You're gonna catch her and she runs on you. I, I got a stinger in my index finger with my left hand. I'm just leaving her there for now. Get that out in a minute. I think she went maybe to the other side. Let's see. Cage her. Oh, there she is. Let's see if we can get her, folks. Yeah. Right, we're with the wingers. Right. So try to pick up to the saw. Come on. I think that was her. I mean, I know she ran up here. But... Where are you? Maybe she went up to this corner and I could catch her. Come on, girl. Well, I'll leave my ears alone. <laughs> I got one on my left armpit right now. Mm. It's a little tickle. Right, where'd you go? Where'd you go, girl? Oh, I got one in my one pit now. Well, I'm trying to catch the queen right now. I'm not worried about what's going on up there right now. No, no problems. No problem. She's just uh, trying to hide up underneath these bees, see? Two of them moving. I'm just using my finger. She is. Right. Let me keep an eye on her. And she's in the kitchen. Alright, she's in. Okay. There she is. Well, she's not that big, is she? Alright, let's just put her down here. You know, sometimes it's warm, you have more than one queen, but uh, we'll, we'll see how they react. Uh, Apparently I did not hit the record button on my iPhone, so this is the footage we have. See if you can spot the queen inside the queen catcher. Put her on top of this frame right here and we'll see if they love on her and then we'll uh, rub a banner on the frame and uh then i'll place the nuke by the tree over here okay uh, they're definitely loving her up so let's go ahead and put her on the frame here think they're loving her i'd say they love her <laughs> well i walked right past this one folks even though they were there, pulled up. Start grabbing my equipment, you know, to remove the bees out of the wall inside. And uh, the homeowner said, hey, look, uh, check this out. <laughs> so, uh, I don't know. Just a nice little treat to deal with. Okay. Put it on this frame. Okay, and there you go, yeah. Don't 
tiger stripe was in thing. Small little queen. Because they will thin down, okay? They will thin down to swarm. You know, bees will actually put them on a little diet. Alright, so let's put this in here. I'm hoping it's not. I think it might just be warm enough for them to come down from the uh, great myrtle and join uh, the rest of their sisters. That's what we're hoping. So, we move over to keep these frames together. Alright, one more frame to put in. This is just a five frame move. One of those pro nooks, but they come in handy. They're lightweight, you know. They're growing on me. I wish the entrances were a little bit lower, but other than that, I kind of like these. Now, they're temporary, it's temporary housing, you know. You can't keep these in here for an extended period of time, they'll just swarm out because they're not stackable, okay. So, um, yeah, I mean, I'm helping to open the entrances. Yeah. This is the vent side. No vent, vent, okay. All right. You think y'all can work this out? Let's just go ahead and, let's just go ahead and place it over here. Okay, let's go ahead and place it over here. I went back later on that evening and all the bees were in the box folks and that's all the footage unfortunately i have of uh this swarm shake and um and the bee removal uh, i don't know what happened to the footage but i couldn't find it anywhere but hope y'all enjoy this video another one from jp the bee man to the next one y'all have a great day because you know i am